Warzone's gas damage just got patched and progressive gas damage is back, but it's very different than the gas tick we've had in the past. I've tested everything and I'm going to break down what changed and what it means for gas plays. When the new Warzone first launched, the gas damage per second, or DPS, was a flat 10 HP per second and stayed constant over time. This was very different from previous versions of Warzone which all had something called gas tick or progressive gas damage. If you spent a whole minute in the gas, the gas damage would increase and it would go up again for every extra minute you stayed in the gas. This made it increasingly difficult to survive in the gas for long periods of time. Some version of this has been in the game since the Verdansk era to combat the stim glitch and limit gas plays to a reasonable length. There being no gas tick in Warzone 3 was a big problem because with enough stims you could live indefinitely in the gas, as I demonstrated by surviving an entire match in the gas simply by looting stims from across the map on Vondel. Less than 24 hours after publishing that video, Raven Software updated the gas to reintroduce gas tick, but it doesn't work quite like it did before. The gas damage still starts off at 10 HP per second and stays like that until the 50 second mark, at which point it rises to 15. Then it continues stepping up by 5 HP every 10 seconds after that. This is a more aggressive gas tick than we've ever seen before in Warzone. Even if we compare it to the early days of Warzone 2 where the gas damage was quite severe, it's still not as bad as the new Warzone 3 gas tick. I should note that I haven't actually been able to test these numbers past 2 minutes, although I think it's possible to survive 2 minutes with perfect stim timing. However, if the pattern holds up past that point, at the 3 minute mark the gas damage would reach 75 HP per second, which means even with perfect stim timing every 2 seconds, which is the fastest you can possibly stim, getting full health from each stim in Resurgence, the gas damage would match the amount of health you were getting from stims and you wouldn't be able to gain any health back, so you would inevitably die. So not only do we have a severe gas tick to add difficulty into gas plays, we actually have a theoretical limit that hard caps gas plays at 3 minutes, at least in terms of stims. This is fantastic news, and I am honestly very impressed with the turnaround time on this fix. Last year's Season 4 gas change removed the gas tick at the same time they released the Vondel map, which completely broke the game and allowed for infinite gas plays, and that took them a whole month to fix, during which time they tried other nerfs like reducing the amount of stims in medicine cabinets and reducing the amount of health a stim gives you, which completely missed the point. As you can see in the background, stim cabinets aren't even necessary at all since you can just use ammo caches and get two new stims a minute from each one. If you run back and forth between two ammo caches, you can get four stims a minute which is enough to keep you alive indefinitely. This time, in my opinion, they've absolutely nailed it. The gas tick is back so gas plays are limited and skillful again. Plus, stims and resurgence haven't been nerfed into the ground, so they're still viable for aggressive players trying to solo squads as well as making gas plays viable with just a couple of stims, provided you can time them right, which is a rewarding skill gap. I give Raven a 9 out of 10 for getting it right so quickly. The only reason it's not a perfect 10 is because the initial mistake of removing gas tick is a little silly, but mistakes happen so I'm still pretty impressed. If you appreciate all the work that goes into gathering this data and presenting it to you, and if you want to know about other broken strategies before they get patched, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll just let this gameplay run and I'll see you guys in the gas. Bye bye. I'll hit the ammo cache before I need it, there we go. Drop one, make sure the restock timer starts ASAP. up one more one two three four five final circle is a 1v3 one two three I'll be able to hit the ammo cache after this restock, I think. One, two, three, four.
we go, GG's.